today is a rainy gloomy day here in Chicago um, I've been here for 10 years now and I thought that for this video I could show a little bit um, what has changed um, for me during those 10 years uh, this is for example I'm, I'm on Glenwood Avenue actually and uh, actually those murals on the you can see, can you see? Yeah, the murals behind me here. They were painted a few years ago. So I can't exactly remember when, maybe five years ago. But um, yeah, that it brought a nice touch to the area. I like it. And also, what's new, what changed the area quite a bit, is uh, the CTA station up here. Uh, the red line kind of was kind of seedy, and. Uh, there were some uh, interesting characters hanging out at, at the entrance, at both entrances. So once they renovated kind of the train station, the CTA station, it got a lot better. And I guess the police also uh, made more frequent rounds. So I don't know who else got uh, intervened, but the area is a little, it's a little safer, I just say that. Uh, so, I, so yeah. So that's one major change, and also this place here. So we are the corner of, uh, where are we? Morse and Glenwood. This is the train station right here. This was, used to be pretty bad actually. Um, so this business right here, this opened, I want to say last year. Several businesses though have um, occupied this space. They might be the same owners though, from what I hear. But um, this has changed quite a bit. Okay, so now we are the opposite corner of the CTA station. This is a Dunkin' Donut that's going to open in a few weeks. I don't know, but it's opening uh, soon. But yeah, this whole area was um, renovated a few, a couple of years ago, maybe. I want to say five years, the CTA station. And this building right here also, the building that was here before, the residents, I don't know, but um, when this, whoever that management company took over this building, it changed the, uh, uh, the makeup of this um, part of the neighborhood, I would say. So I wouldn't say clean it up, um, but yeah. So new residents, it got a little safer. So this station is relatively new, those bikes. And there are two more, actually a few more in the neighborhood but they're here this restaurant has been it's one of my favorite actually that's the one i've been to the most in this neighborhood so you know cheaper food uh good food i mean it's only one thing i get actually on the menu but it's decent okay and this is jb alberto's they closed now i think they open at uh when do they open actually uh around 4 4 p.m uh, it's a good pizza, good food. It's a uh, pickup and uh, delivery only. So, yeah, good times. And this is the main main stage. It's it's a restaurant and an entertainment venue. I've I've never been inside, but uh, sometime this summer I'll try to make it in. And that building, the main stage building, uh, is. It's also relatively new, three years I want to say. So it's a higher end uh, restaurant or pub, whatever you want to call it. And now, um, this is actually sad, it's very sad. It used to be my favorite place. I spent a lot of time there. It was a restaurant, it was, it was a venue, it's a venue, like good music, good food, but now it's, it's been turned into a parking lot. They closed down a couple of years ago and then they turned into a parking lot. So, RIP Morseland. So, yeah, it was right here. Now it's a parking lot. Too bad. But yeah, 10 years ago, it was a great place to hang out actually. <laughs> 